there are some of you here now, before you came here this morning, your landlord has harassed you. Your caretaker has abused you. You are going to church again. Look at him. Look at him. You can't pay house rent. You are carrying Bible. Watch it. You will soon buy that house. <laughs> I say you will soon buy that house. I'm telling you what we have experienced. I've slept in a few places, very wonderful places. Very wonderful places. A few certain, you know, uh, toilets. Very wonderful. I've bathed in certain bedrooms before. Very wonderful. Where you have to close your eyes. Just believe God. You won't be here for too long. <laughs> but it's not the same again. It's not the same again. Whatever God has done for us, he will do for you. Because that's what God said. Revival. It's time when God awakens the giant in you. Say with me, there is a giant in me. It must wake up. This month. You see, if you are a good student of history, especially of industrial revolution, economic renewal, every nation that has experienced industrial move were nations where the spirit of God is moving or have just moved. They are all residues of the move of the spirit. Some years back, we had very great revival in South Korea. Being led by the Holy Spirit through great men like Yonggi Cho. South Korea from nowhere just became a force classified nation. In their church at the time, way back 1980 um, or there about, they had 3,000 millionaires in their church. 3,000. As the Spirit of God moves, economy improves. Because everything that moves in the spirit reflects in the physical. Revival. 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 At a time in this nation, those of you who have lived as long, we had what we call the new generational banks. Out of the 25 of them, only one was not managed by Christians. All of them. The managing directors. And who are they? Children of pastors. Children of elders. Children of deacons. Who had imbibed the move of the spirit. And prayed down the glory of God. And as a reward for their spirituality. God placed their children in high places. What are we saying? We must give room to the move of the spirit. For everything to move in our lives. Out of them who are in revival shall proceed the nobles, the governors. And I'm talking to a number of them here. If you are one of them, shout a big, I am one of them. It shall be so for you. Now, how do you as a person know that you are being revived? This is very important. So you can place yourself on the scale of steps to be taken. How do I know that I'm in a revival? When your heart begins to pant after God and the interests of his kingdom. When your heart is looking for God. When your soul is crying for God. Psalm 42 verse 1. As the dead panted for the waters so my soul longer after you. You alone at my heart desire and I love to worship you. When God feels your thoughts, when you wake up in the morning, it is God. In the afternoon, God. In the night, God. Then your soul is revived. Listen to this simple test. When you wake up in the morning as a person, where does your heart go to? Answer that. 
But I've observed most people today is their telephone. As soon as they wake up, their telephone. No, thank you, Jesus. No, shall we pray? That shows where your heart is. But when you wake up in the morning, the next thing that occurs to you is to be on your knees. Father, I thank you. Father, I thank you. Father, I thank you for your love. That shows your heart is after God. Whosoever you think of when you wake up is the person of greatest interest to you. Change the order. You can't tell me you are seeking after God when other things are getting your attention. My soul panted after thee. When it is time to pray, what is the prayer that occurs to you most? Is it contract you are looking for? Or the souls that should be saved and be established in the kingdom? They do pray when last for your new convert. That's how to know that revival is taking place in your own heart. Not that revival is taking place in our church. Is it taking place in your life? You need to check that. Psalm 34 verse 10. You seek after God. Psalm 63 verse 1. Oh Lord my God. Holy when I seek thee. And all of that. My soul longed for thee. Verse 8. My soul panted after thee. Followed hard after thee. Revival normally or usually drive people's heart towards God. Number two, how do you know that you are in a revival? When walking in the fear of God becomes your lifestyle. Walking in the fear of God. Wanting to please God in all of your ways. And the fear of God is departure from evil. If you love sin, you don't love God. If you love sin, you don't fear God. Those who fear God always run away from sin. Please listen to this. Oh. These are simple parameters by which you can check whether revival is taking place in your life or not. If you are living in sin, you are not yet in revival. You are not in revival. When revival comes, People don't want to touch sin. They don't want to taste sin. They don't want to stand where sinners are standing. You either love God or you love sin. You can't mix the two together. You can't be one leg in with God and one leg in with the world. When revival occurs, the people in your neighborhood will know that something has happened to you. You see, you don't go about testifying of revival. People who don't have it are the ones who testify of it. It is darkness that recognizes light, not light recognizing darkness. Walking in the fear of God. And the fear of God is to depart from iniquity. Jeremiah 32, verses 39 to 40. Come with me quickly. Let's run for time. And I will give them one heart and one way. And they, that they may fear me forever for the good of them and for their children after them. Verse 30. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them that I will not turn away from them to do them good. But I will put my fear in their hearts that they shall not depart from me. May you be baptized afresh with the spirit of the fear of the Lord. When you fear God, you don't steal. When you fear God, you don't cheat your fellow brother in the church or elsewhere. You are doing business together. When you fear God, your yea is yea. Your nay is nay. When you fear God, you don't run after things. You don't covert your neighbor's property. When you love God, your eye will be straight on your wife alone. When your eyes are looking this way, that way, you are not moving in the spirit of God. Carnality is certain. Revival is carnality destroyer your eyes become sanctified your words sanctified your look sanctified 
There is a way you look that nobody even wants to tempt you with sin. But you look, your appearance looks so sinful that people want to touch you. Before people know that you don't go, you don't go around born again. You don't go around them. What mouth will you use to talk to a born again lady that I want to mess up with you? You can't do that. The fire in her eyes drives you away. It's not like now that somebody just look at you and they, they feel you are like them and start calling you with different names and start speaking dirty things to you and start touching you when they should not touch you. Your boss is touching you in the office. And then, ah, 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 a guy I don't like that. You like it. <laughs> if you don't like it, fire will come out of your eyes. So how do you see? The reason I have to keep I don't want to lose my job. And you are losing your destiny. This is your destiny. Walking in the fear of God. Are you truly walking in the fear of God? If you are not, you are not in this revival we are talking about. You are outside of it. And I can tell you, I can't promise you eternity. Don't forget we are going somewhere. Heaven is our home. Will you get there? You have to make your choice. You have to make your choice by the way you live, by the way you walk, by the things you say, by the people you sit down with. We walk with sinners, but we don't walk in the way of sinners. Young people don't tell me, you know, in our time, there are a lot of temptations for young people. Don't harass us. We are also young before. And we are equally tempted. Heavily tempted. Heavily tempted. But we refuse to bow. You want me to give you an example? I was a student. When in my room, my roommate brought some girls. Brought a girl to my room. I looked at him. What is this fellow want, trying to do here? And I, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke that spirit from you right now. I cast them out of the room. Amen? <laughs> if I say, well, you know, uh, what's my business? When next is coming, he will come with two girls. One for himself. Because he may think I like it. He never dared it again. Working in the fear of God. Say, I receive it. I 